surroundings to have uh, what we call a town meeting. Uh, pleased to have this opportunity to uh, meet with the Polish community. Uh, I have met with your leaders some time ago in Washington. Uh, you uh, know the background of some comments I made which were a misstep and it has provided an opportunity for a dialogue to become better acquainted with the Polish community. I have uh, long had uh, close ties with uh, the Polish community across Pennsylvania, having been your senator since uh, election in 1980. And before that, I was the district attorney of Philadelphia and had extensive contacts. I have uh, great respect for uh, the ethnic composition of America. We are a nation of uh, many diverse nationalities coming to this country for uh, a variety of reasons, for religious freedom, for opportunities. And uh, I have had parents, both of whom were immigrants, came from uh, uh, Ukraine. Uh, there were parts of uh, Russia, Poland, close together where they traded back and forth. You couldn't tell for sure what it was originally because uh, the area had been subject to so much uh, battling and so many, so many problems. And uh, my brother, two sisters and I have uh, been the beneficiaries of uh, immigrant parents. One of the things that I cannot do for our two sons is to uh, have them be first generation Americans. That's a distinct status. Uh, I last visited Poland uh, uh, two years ago in August of 2009. I have visited Poland on a number of occasions in the course of the past uh, uh, three uh, decades. And uh, uh, visited the museums there, uh, talked to Polish officials, uh, visited the uh, special museum showing the uh, issues of the persecution of the Jews and the great work which uh, uh, the Polish community did in saving the lives of so many Jews. One of the items that I have discussed with your leadership is a resolution which I am now preparing uh, to recognize and thank uh, the Polish people for uh, their heroic efforts in saving so many lives. Uh, earlier this year, I co-sponsored with Senator Luger a resolution which passed the United States Senate uh, commemorating uh, 20 years of Polish democracy, freedom from uh, uh, Russian Soviet control, and uh, 10 years of membership in, uh, in NATO. Uh, we are having ongoing discussions on the issue as to whether we can have a visa waiver, which is a complicated legal subject. But I have uh, communicated with the uh, Director of Home, the Secretary of Homeland Security, uh, Michael Chertoff, to see if there might be a waiver. There are provisions uh, under U.S. immigration and visa law which say that if a country has a visa rejection rate of less than 3 percent, there do not have to be visas exchanged. And uh, uh, some uh, standards up to 10 percent, and the Polish rate is higher, and have re received a response that they are making an investigation to see what the actual figures are and to see whether or not there can be uh, a waiver. I think when uh, a nation uh, has the kind of relations which Poland has with the United States, and I made a floor statement, which uh, I'd be glad to send to anybody who would like to have it after I return, and noted in the floor statement the contribution which Poland had made to uh, Iraq uh, and Afghanistan, contributing 1,200 soldiers in one instance and 900 uh, in another. 
and it was very hard for the United States to get uh, other nations to be supportive uh, of Iraq, but uh, Poland uh, has been and uh, continues to be supportive of what is going on uh, in Afghanistan. The uh, uh, relations between our countries has been a very strong one. Uh, there are uh, ongoing uh, issues as to missile defense, and uh, that is a brave stand for Poland to take to be willing to have missile defense, uh, considering the response of Russia. Russia doesn't exactly take uh, kindly to that. Uh, difficult to deal with, but uh, and that is all a matter of, uh, of negotiations. President Bush uh, had one attitude, as you know, uh, uh, wanting to have the uh, missile defense, and now with uh, President Obama in office, there have been modifications of U.S. policy, uh, opening negotiations with Iran, difficulties with uh, North Korea, trying to set new signals and new standards in uh, relationships with Russia, so we will see uh, what, uh, what will eventuate uh, there. Uh, I have received strong political support from many in your community, which uh, I'm appreciative for, and I'm, many have uh, not supported me. In a democracy, people vote uh, in accordance with their uh, wishes, and uh, I'm not here tonight looking for votes. I'm here tonight uh, to make amends for those missteps and to learn more about your community and to have a dialogue. and to respond to any issues or any questions which you may care to direct to me. So if it's all right, uh, Mr. Chairman, may I throw the floor open for comments, observations, questions? It's, it's a great honor to have you here with us. Thank you very much. Not so close, all right. And uh, well, I know you for many years because uh, I was honored to get a letter from you several years ago when I was a Fulbright Scholar. Thank you very much from Pennsylvania. But I would like to make a comment on uh, visa issue and rejection rate. Uh, we know very well that uh, visa waiver depends on Congress decision. Congress decision is based on rejection rate. Rejection rate is made by United States visa authorities, consular authorities in Poland. So, if consular authorities decided to refuse more visas, that rejection rate would be higher. And sometimes uh, I had a lot of intervention from many Polish families from Pennsylvania when, for instance, a poor uh, 75 years old grandma was refused visa because, and that's my question, because of what? Because she didn't know how to behave or she was so frightened during the interview that she didn't want didn't know how to give the right answer to, to the council officer. So uh, if everything is based on rejection rate, rejection rate can always be made up by U.S. consular authorities. And that little consular uh, uh, representative of the United States in Poland can influence American Congress. Where is the sense of the whole system? I do not understand it very well, and I represent, near, at the moment, nearly 940,000 of Polish Americans living in Pennsylvania. Thank you. Well, uh, when you say you represent 940,000 uh, people in uh, Pennsylvania, that makes you a pretty powerful figure. Uh, that's, a, that's a lot of people to represent. When you raise the issue about a 75-year-old grandmother, who has rejected a visa, and you want to know the reason why, uh, you raise a very good question, and obviously...